You know, when it comes to lowering costs and helping families make ends meet, Democrats haven't just been talking the talk. We have been putting forward solutions and putting money back in Americans' pockets. I've seen firsthand what our work has meant to families. In my home state of Washington, thanks to the policies Democrats passed, we provided more rental and heating assistance and helped people stay in their homes and keep the heat on this winter. We saw a record number of people sign up for quality, affordable health care. And we are bringing high-speed internet to 240,000 people who currently do not have it and making it more, uh, more affordable for all of them, to name just a few examples. So when it comes to delivering for families, Democrats are a party focused on getting it done, with or without Republicans. And this past year, by the way, we've done both. We have taken significant bipartisan steps, like our historic infrastructure bill, which is lowering costs for internet, transportation, and clean energy. And we're continuing to work on a bipartisan bill to strengthen our supply chains and bring down prices here by making us less reliant on manufacturing abroad. But let's be clear, at the end of the day, if we can take a step to put money back into families' pockets, if we can make life a little bit easier for people, especially when times are so hard, we're going to do it, whether or not Republicans are willing to do the right thing and work with us. Because as we've seen, Republicans talk about costs, but actions are going to speak a lot louder than words. And when Democrats passed the American Rescue Plan, which nearly cut child poverty in half, got millions of people health care coverage for less than $10 a month, and took so many other steps to help families make ends meet, we did that without a single Republican vote. And Democrats are now continuing to push for more steps to lower prescription drug costs by give, giving Medicare new power to negotiate prices for patients, and by capping the cost of insulin. It's a drug millions of people need to survive at just $35 a month. We're also pushing to support working families by ensuring every parent can get quality, affordable childcare and early education for their children, and providing paid leave so it won't cost anyone anything to take time off to care for their loved ones. <clears throat> and we want to pay for all of this by asking the wealthiest Americans and largest corporations just to pay their fair share. The difference is pretty clear. Democrats are taking action to lower costs for families, and we have <clears throat> fully paid pl for plans to do a lot more. Meanwhile, I've heard a lot of talk, but no serious, no serious Republican plan to help lower families' costs moving forward. If Republicans want to show families they are serious about helping people make ends meet, our doors are open. <clears throat> I hope they choose to work with us on what we see as clearly serious problems. Thank you.